All right, everybody, welcome back. Yeah, Julie Edelman, known as the accidental housewife, has shared tips to help us navigate household chores quickly and simply. And now this lifestyle expert is venturing into the world of fiction with her new romance thriller novel, The Accidental Sisterhood. This morning we are taking a peek inside the book with Julie, so welcome back. Well, it's good to be yes, here. Yes, good to see you. It's a little chilly, though. It is. <laughs> it's a little chilly, I know. It's, a ch yeah. it's chilly in here and outside when you it it is, went it from is. 70s to 30s. So what brought you, I guess, you know, into the world of fiction? Well, it was something I always wanted to do. Oh. But about a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm. Uh, fortunately, stage one. Uh, but when you go through a devastating initially, <coughs> excuse me, um, diagnosis, you take stock of your life. Yeah. And writing a woman's fiction novel is something I always wanted to do. So it said, that, so my detour, I like to call them detours in life, turned into a dream. And the dream is this wonderful thriller. Well, I mean, that's a big turn from your <laughs> guidebooks, your Accidental Housewife yeah. guidebooks to something like this. Tell us a little bit about the storyline of the Accidental Sister. Well, it's, it's a lot of fun, obviously. It's a bit of a meta, as okay. they say. Uh, it's about a woman, Jules Malone, who has sworn off relationships. She's had one ex-fiance she calls her white nightmare, and a husband who's a nice guy, but was not quite where she wanted a relationship to be. But the good news was she had a son, Max. And so she's sworn off, as I said, relationships, but it's Christmas and she's feeling lonely. And she walks into a bar and there's a gentleman she stumbles into, so to speak. Mm. And all of a sudden she's drawn to him and feelings start to emerge because she's also always believed in fairy tales and happily ever after. So pretty soon she uh, is seeing this man and she, he's doing all these wonderful things, but something seems awry. Oh, dun, dun, yes, dun dun dun. dun, dun. Okay. And so lies and lust come into it. Oh. And love, because Hello. she discovers that he is not just with she, but with four, three other women. Oh my goodness. At the same time. At the same time, and none of them wow. know. Oh, yes. okay. oh my gosh. That's a nice yes. little plot a good, twist. This is a juicy it is. book. It yes, is, it is. Right? It starts out calm, you know, a Christmas movie, <laughs> right. uh, snow falling, and then the uh, interesting parts happen. But what's really fun about it, too, is that I wanted to talk about sisterhood mm. and the power of sisterhood because throughout my, my life, it's really been important, the excellent housewife community of women who were going through things that I was as a housewife. Yeah. And when I was going through my breast cancer, a community of women, a sisterhood. And now in this, is a sisterhood of four women who really really don't have any clue that they would ever know one another, but together they are so strong. And they find out about their own resiliency, their own guts, and that together they are just incredible. Yeah. Wow. So we like to put things out into the universe, right? So I guess the question here is, do you see this book becoming a limited series, <laughs> a movie, you something know, on Lifetime? Yes. Glad you asked that question. <gasps> Why is it happening? Oh, uh, let's let's talk to the universe. But yeah, and I've already cast it in my mind. Of course, you two are in it. Oh, so. thank oh, you. Of course. Okay, of we're happy to be there. Yeah. Um, but I see Jules Malone as Rachel McAdams. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see that. Because of the red hair, you know, a little meta, yeah. as I said about me. Uh, and then Sean, the, uh, the the deceptor or the seducer, is Ryan Gosling because I love their chemistry in the oh, Notebook. Oh yeah. Now Jude, who is the wife, I see as Nicole Kidd. Because she's in everything that right. like this. Mm. Uh, Jessica would be, um, oh gosh, um, Mar Margot Robbie. Yeah. Because she's beautiful. She's You're going after all the big names. Uh, well, yes. If, you, if you're going to go, go big or go right. home. And then uh, last but not least, the uh, youngest woman in this, whose name is, uh, I can't remember my character's name, right. so it's great. Uh, but Jasmine is going to be Zendaya. Nice. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I haven't cast the dog yet, Bagels. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe yeah, he could yeah. be the mayor of New York, the, oh, the dog yeah. mayor. The new dog I saw mayor. that. Yes. I saw Looking that. for, he doesn't need a job yeah. right now. Right. Though, and but. then you two, I have some roles because obviously I, Jules is on television. She oh. is the accidental housewife. Right. Oh. Well, we're there. Right. We're happy to be there. All right. Well, come come talk to me after this. Okay. We'll, yeah. We'll do your screen test. <laughs> Sounds juicy. Uh, well, her book, The Accidental Sisterhood, is available on Amazon. That's right. right. And is. she is sticking around because when we come back, the accidental housewife is going to show us some household hacks to keep yes. us through, help us through the holidays. Yeah, that's right.